Well, 31 games in 30 days. The new ballpark of the Palm Beaches is about halfway through their training season for the Washington Nationals and Houston Astros. The county invested tens of millions of taxpayer dollars to build the ballpark, but is the investment worth it? News Channel 5's Alana Quillen is live from the ballpark tonight to answer that question. Alana. Well, Jay, county leaders tell me, yes, so far it's a good investment, especially considering days like today. If you take a look behind me, that game started at 6 o'clock and still lots of fans pouring in. It's the first day-night doubleheader game at the ballpark with the Yankees and Cardinals selling out the stadium. 7,000 fans packed into the ballpark of the Palm Beaches this afternoon. The Yankees, of course. <laughs> uh, is there anyone else? Oh, yeah. <laughs> a good majority of them. What is that? Long Island you know. spring breakers from out of town back where I am right now. It's got a lot of snow, so so this is this is great. The West Palm Beach has a lot of uh, native New Yorkers anyway. It's like it's like another suburb almost or, or borough. The sold out crowd is a promising site for Palm Beach County Mayor Paulette Burdick. Fans will travel ungodly distances, in my opinion, um, to follow their team like this guy and his family. From Toronto, Canada. Any baseball game, anywhere, anytime, but these are the former Expos, so go Nationals. Burdick still believes the ballpark is a worthy investment of taxpayer dollars, but she says it's not all about baseball and ticket sales. Throughout the year, um, residents in Palm Beach County will have the opportunity to utilize some of those fields. The Sports Commission is planning for concerts, festivals, and races. So it'll be used year round, which so that we feel it was a good investment. Despite ticket sales starting slowly, ballpark officials are hoping spring break will make for a strong finish. We have a lot to learn about the market. It's been a successful year as we continue to grow and and uh, we're excited about you know the 30 year commitment that the teams are here for. Now the last training game is on March 29th before the Washington Nationals and Houston Astros head out for their regular season homes. There are about nine more games left and of course tickets are still available for those games. Reporting live in West Palm Beach, Alana Quillen, WPTV News Channel 5.